This video is sponsored by Bityard. With over 400 cryptocurrencies to choose from on their spot exchange, dozens of USDT pairs for futures trading, perpetual coin futures, trade commodities like gold, silver and oil, Forex and major indices like Nasdaq. You can buy crypto from Bityard with over 50 different fiat currencies using Visa, Mastercard, Google or Apple Pay. If you like, you can use their copy trade facility, follow other traders who will execute trades on your behalf or become a copy trader yourself. So if you want a bit of that, click the link in the description. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at uh, what could be the biggest alt season you have ever seen in your entire life, provided that you were born this year, um, or 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 even just maybe a little bit later. Either way, it's going to be massive. Well, it's not obviously going to be massive, but we are looking for a potential micro rotation, maybe even starting now. Uh, but arguably, I would certainly like to wait for a, another uh, drop for our friend Bitcoin, which will bring the market down a bit more and this dominance into a bit more into this box. At the moment, we've just literally just kissed the top of it and we're sort of <laughs> sort of uh, rejecting already. Now, make no mistake, I made the tweet earlier and it obviously it, I stand to it and this is obviously the way that I like to trade, but we look to m make trades into altcoins when there is at least uh, some kind of uh, overall market dynamic as uh, favouring altcoin positions. And at the moment, generally speaking, it's not the case. Obviously, we know that. We've known that since we came into this area, which is why I've always been a little bit you know, standoffish when it comes to altcoins or large positions. But doesn't mean that there can't be some opportunity so effectively all we're looking at here is a rejection taking place maybe now or certainly within this zone uh, where altcoins will be a favorable uh, scenario for a short-term position you know maybe we look at you know 10 20 30 40 50 maybe even 100 percent gains out of some altcoins but obviously with the general direction of the market the, and if you're looking to make active trades then you'd look to probably scale out you know um not all in and uh, you know and all out in one go but a little bits spread across the board uh, and uh, take profits with uh, obviously stop losses once you're in profit as well so yeah there's there's uh, you know it is good it is likely to cause an effect and the word alt season the way i choose to interpret it it's completely up to you if you agree is where altcoins outperform bitcoin for a period of time so rather than just a little alt rally for a period of time now We'll turn on our indicators here. We can see that this is a bullish chart. It's bullish AF. This is your Bitcoin dominance chart, by the way. Obviously, I'm sure you all know that. Um, but uh, yes, it's got every every hallmark of a continuation on the way up. So if we do get a rejection around this zone, which I think we will, uh, I think we will, uh, then uh, it's, it's not going to go on for an inordinate amount of time. We've got absolutely every aspect of this chart um, sort of really, really wanting it to go up further. But on the first... Uh, test of the resistance which is what we're getting right now fair play fair play and get a re uh, get a rejection so we don't just jump into any altcoin that we want um ugh, i mean some people will but that's not what we do uh, we look at some altcoins which at least have something going for them all right uh so I, this isn't i've not spent hours going through all of these altcoins so you know it's and, and and again you know we're not in what i would consider to be a comfortable zone but we have approached the first level of resistance for the Bitcoin dominance chart. So, like I say, there's going to be many altcoins out there, as we all know, that will do significant moves uh, without any signals. They'll move through association with altcoins and the, the dominance chart if we do get this alt season, which I think we probably will. Alt season, like I say, <laughs> don't don't harvest your kidneys or anybody else's to buy altcoins throughout this period. If you've got money to play, feel free to do it. Then um, the general rule for me is the higher the resistance uh, that we're looking to get rejected from, the larger your uh, your flip from Bitcoin into altcoins. So obviously on the first pass with a bullish chart at the first level of resistance, you don't really want to be putting more than 20% of your Bitcoin position into, uh, into altcoins. You just don't want to do that because everything generally points to further up. So if you're looking to sit tight and hold on, um, then you want to do that in a Bitcoin position. But if you if you if you're happy to give it a go, it's completely your call. Again, I'm not your financial advisor, but the, my rule would be, you know, the uh, the higher the resistance, say up here, you go in hard and heavy. I went in 80% of my Bitcoin position went in over here. Bitcoin had peaked, altcoins had uh, dropped significantly, and lo and behold absolutely epic gain so obviously we know that altcoins have dropped epically right now and they are 
they're due for a bounce and this is the criteria that you look for for a bounce and again we're not looking for all time highs to be surpassed or anything like that so anyway let's have a look at some of these and again yeah there's going to be many better ones than this this is just some of the ones that I've just loaded up as my daughter's gone to sleep you know uh, while nap time starts uh, the, uh, the the YouTube channel prospers um, so here we go chain link uh, to Bitcoin what we have here is um, a nice bit of divergence and brewing momentum on RSI money flow index and as opposed to an extent um, your MACD um, it's still pretty bearish I have to say it's not great the volume uh, whether it's red or green has been building we've got obviously 247 bitcoins in a 24-hour period the liquidity is there for those who want to take advantage of that um, and it's not the worst thing that's just your daily uh, we take it to a three daily uh, we also see the same kind of thing we also see the same thing, I believe, on a weekly. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. So this could just be uh, a bounce, which takes us up to maybe at best, you know, 3,600 sats at best, at best. Still pretty bearish looking chart on the weekly. So this goes hand in hand, I suppose, with what I've been saying uh, in, in the introduction of this video. It will be the best thing you've seen in a while, but it's not going to be great, right? It's going to have to be uh, you buy the dip and sell the rip, as they say. So that's Chainlink. Jasmine to BTC. Horrendous chart, horrendous chart. However, throughout the entire process of this downtrend, we have had bullish divergence build. We've seen that on other things like um, ICP as well, by the way. Uh, we're also testing the top range of this previous consolidation that happened after this big pump from our all-time low of about 27 sats again uh, this you know, I wouldn't say it's not divergence but it's building momentum and again we're testing and pushing the range of this area here so if this if this pops on Jasmine we could be looking for a 50 we could be looking for a 60 sat so again you know not massive gains for what people might want to uh, consider retirement but we are looking for a 50% range maybe from here to there if we break outside of this and again you know alt season generally uh, favors those with the better setups Again, this isn't a great setup but we've got momentum brewing to the up we've, uh, and and so on and so on xvg wrecked city as we like to call it one of the best charts to look at to ever get a rain check on anyone who ever thinks about buying an altcoin and staying in it for a prolonged period of time uh, that should be all you need to know. Would you like Bitcoin or would you like XVG? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll take the Bitcoin, please. Um, anyway, is this brewing uh, any kind of uh, divergence? No, it's trading at a two Bitcoin 24 hour period. So, this, to be honest with you, even though it's, it does look like it could move. Uh, its liquidity is close to zero so we'll forget about that uh, XRP um, let's have a look uh, XRP okay so we're brewing some momentum on this one again these are all Bitcoin pairs I'm sure you've noticed that so again they're not bullish setups but they they are brewing momentum so we we are bearish across the board uh, but we are testing and teasing the very realistic possibility of breaking out f uh, of these 10 exponential resistances uh, with the with the um, momentum that's brewing on the on the on the short term time frames being basically a daily anything outside of a daily is generally pretty bad and lo and behold the big daddy ethereum bouncing not so much from a support but more or less from a flat figure because we all know us humans like round numbers as your 0 .6, uh, 0 0.06 bitcoins and uh, suppose you draw a horizontal across the board you do see that we did have a decent reaction bouncing from here going on to make a new all-time high Fair enough, fair enough. But it is a tired and sad and bearish chart, to be honest with you. Um, and so what we'll be looking for or expecting, if anything, it would be a bounce from here, maybe to your 10 exponential. That's a 9% if it were to do it today. I'm not expecting any of this to happen today. It could, it could, but I would favour a further downside before we go up. All I'm saying is the criteria that we normally look for for any kind of um, a period of altcoins outperforming Bitcoin is soon upon us, if not already. And so it's, it's up to you whether or not you you choose to uh, to part with some of that beloved Bitcoin into some altcoins for potential you know 10 to 50 percent gains maybe but I would certainly be cautious about uh, what it is that you do where it is that you take the position uh, or if you do in the first place remember the first level of resistance when a bullish setup like this on the dominance chart doesn't really permit any kind of long-term position but it would favour potentially maybe a day or two or even a week or two. It, who knows where we get, you know, the size of the rejection uh, of relief rally. Now, it's interesting to recognise that yesterday that... Uh 
Uh, traditional markets are actually up and Bitcoin wasn't particularly up at all. And uh, the pre-markets so far are up as well. We've got some, uh, some encouraging data flowing through about GDP and consumer spending. Um, and that seems to have alleviated a little bit of fear in the short term uh, for uh, traditional markets. But Bitcoin and crypto is still not really feeling that. Not really feeling that. So uh, you, you have to look at these and go, well, at least they've decoupled <laughs> to an extent for better or for worse is what we wanted. Um, I think much of crypto is still um, really suffering from the Terra Luna FUD that took place. It's not FUD. It was reality, uh, but uh, all of that uh, is, is is brought a dark a darkness across uh, the crypto market, which might take a little bit of while, uh, time for for that to clear up. But for the moment, we stick to the TA, which is what we like to do best. And now it's time. Obviously, I've been accumulating Bitcoin all the way down. Uh, last buy at twenty seven thousand. Now it's time for me to try to alternate some of that Bitcoin into some altcoins and see if I can stack some more Sats on top of what I've accumulated on the way down from selling at a, at a higher area. Either way, no guarantees. It's a risky business. If you really want to play a proper alt season, you would wait until we get to a much more significant area of resistance. But, you know, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. What else are you going to do with your day? Do you know what I mean? So. <laughs> Right, so enjoy that. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't work out, no big deal. Don't blame me. I've tried to prescribe warnings as well as opportunity. So um, it's, uh, it's your call whether you decide to pull the trigger or not. Um, and like I say, me personally, I'm not going to pull the trigger right now. If I miss out, no big deal. You won't see me FOMO, trust me, because the overall direction on this Bitcoin dominance chart is certainly up anyway. So it wouldn't bother me if I missed out on a you know twenty to a fifty percent gain. It's not really a big deal. Uh, I would much prefer to uh, to rotate into a much higher area where I'll be looking for hundreds of percents of gains. And uh, that's usually what I like to do. Um, so yeah, uh, this is what I've been talking about anyway about uh, you know being back down here with the dominance chart and uh, Bitcoin going lower and altcoins getting crashed. Uh, it's good because it means we get to start the game again, right? We've already won the game of Monopoly once. Let's win it again. All right, we'll win it again. We're just we're, we're, the, the banker is dealing out the cash. We've yet to pass go. Um, and it's an exciting time. I love Monopoly. I love trading crypto. It's all the same thing. So like I say, it's been a very good uh, game and uh, effectively pretty significant. I definitely won. Uh, and I would like to win the next round, uh, but until we pass go, which is obviously not what we've done yet, you know we are we're in purgatory. We uh, were I've uh, I've not even rolled the dice yet, um, but the dice could be rolled, you know, on the next drop in this area. I would certainly probably looking at rolling at least a uh, uh, a pair of threes or something like that. Right, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.